My people, Kiyamo, where be Tinubu spoke man. Don't go buy market where passable. This market where be say Kiyabo don't go price so hey hey. They don't give Kiyabo back tobacco. They don't give up in a very odd way. Where be say he no expect. Rufai from Arise TV don't finally fire back at Kiyabo. He don't give Kiyabo back to back. Say Kiyabo. You they talk about the breaking of rules. The one way you they do right now. It passed the one way we say Peter will be an advice. Do how you gonna declare and uh, you gonna you gonna petition DSS to arrest Peter will be where they fight for a mandate. My people, this song go shock on and say, ah, Kiyabo, not be only you get out. If you say you get out, people they will be say they get past you. Love is smart, you know, who fight for my rice TV. Don't finally call drag Kiyabo. Don't talk to Kiyabo. We know say you know go come our place. But we go day here, we go give you back to back. My people make a go watch. Who fight for my rice TV. Make a go here with the talk about Kiyabo. Wait, talk to Kiyabo. You know go feel arrest with Taubi. You know they possible. In interview, um, TV interview, based on his petition is based according to what he wrote to the DSS on statements made by the vice uh, vice presidential candidate of the Liberal Party, uh, Yusuf Dati Baba Ahmed, and of course he also joined the presidential candidate of the Liberal Party, Mr. Peter Obi, in this complaint or petition to the DSS. I'd like to read the opening statement of the D of the petition to the DSS made by Mr. Fesos Keyamo. First of all, I must say that. He said he's written this petition in his personal capacity as an individual, um, as a concerned citizen of Nigeria. That's how he ended the petition. But he opens it by saying that I write to the full realization that in a, in a post-election period such as this, there is a need to soothe frayed nerves, lower the temperature, and begin the healing process. Let me end here for a few, few seconds. Now, one of the things you've heard, especially from the APC at this time, is the healing process. This talk about healing, or oh, let's now begin to work together and come together. Now, the reason I'm pointing this out is because it speaks to what the actions of uh, Mr. Fessos Keyamo. And what a number of people have said is that the APC asked the Labour Party and other aggrieved parties, if the PDP inclusive, to go to court if they didn't agree with the election outcome. Now, this message of, um, this message of, Healing, hence him saying that the statements made by Yusuf Dati Ahmed is incendiary, therefore we should be looking towards um, unity. But people have asked as well that, can healing occur without justice? Is it mutually exclusive to heal and also to seek justice? I know that's not what he was talking about. He was talking about the statements exactly, but it was important because he started his statement that way. Because in his way, he was making a case for why he believes the DSS should investigate as it could incite people, you know, um, young and old in Nigeria to, uh, you know, violence if, if, if possible. Now, I'll give a little example and then I'll pass it on because I'm sure that Dr. Anne Rufai would also um, speak to this. But when we talk about justice and healing. It's, I would give an example of a parent, you know, two children. One has stolen a pot, you know, the other's um, maybe possession and then says, don't report to, um, you know, just let's keep it quiet for the peace of this family. Just let's move on. Yes, the peace of the family is very important, but it is also important that to enable or to teach the other person a lesson. It's important so that it doesn't occur again, that the other person is able to seek, get some form of justice. Very important. In the same breath, Fessus Kayamo, Mr. Fessus Kayamo, in the interview he did on, an, on another TV station, was doing almost exactly that which he was accusing Mr. Yusuf Bati Ahmed of doing in terms of speaking out. Why is he saying that it was not a, it, the um, president elect is not constitutionally recognized and so on? Because he also preempted the justice of the Supreme Court ju um, judges by making statements, not just at this interview, but in other um, fora where he said that the, their case is baseless. The Supreme Court is going to throw the, um, the case away. So just to Mention that at this time it is important that spokespeople like Mr. Fessos Keyamo and the spokespersons from the Labour Party are careful with the words that they say. Yes, it is important to seek justice, but we must remember that it's the people that we, they seek to serve that they could, you know, ultimately do um, a disservice to. A number of things. 
Number one, all politicians, all stakeholders, all parties to the general election in Nigeria should realize that the elections are over. Matters have been taken to court. Nobody should instigate violence. Nobody should try to do anything that will sound or look like incitement, because that is not the way to go. And the various parties, the major parties, four political parties, and the APC, having gone to court on different sides of the spectrum with regard to those elections, they should know already that the petitions haven't been filed. The matter is already subjudice. And so they must refrain from making uh, you know, statements that will be prejudicial uh, to the outcome of the process in court. That's very important. The second thing is the petition by Festus Kiyamu. It's titled, Petition Against Mr. Ubi and Dati Baba Ahmed for making incendiary comments and claims capable of causing an insurrection or rebellion against the government of Nigeria and the duly elected president-elect. Thursday, March 23, 23. And of course, this is the received, you know, uh, a copy of the received uh, petition. Well, the point to note here is that Professor Skeyamo is insisting that he has had to write this petition because of statements made by Mr. Peter B and Dati Ahmed. What we know is that Mr. Peter B sometime last week made it clear that he will not subscribe to an end INEC hashtag end INEC protest. He will not subscribe to an hashtag end democracy protest. He made those two points clear. And that the option that is available to him is to go to court, which he has done, because he has faith in the judiciary. So, to that extent, Mr. Peter Obi has made very clear his choice in the matter. And if, on this program, he made a distinction between the Labour Party and the obedient movement, which he says is larger than the Labour Party. And sometimes there may be elements in the obedient movement saying certain things that may not really be the position of the party. As for the uh, vice presidential candidate of the Labour Party, well, Kiyamo is saying he appeared on television. And he said, if Ashwajibola Ahmed Chinumbu is sworn in on May 29 as president of Nigeria, that may signal an end to democracy. I think that's what Festus Kiyamo is holding on to. Why would Chinumbu uh, being sworn in uh, signal an end to democracy? He also took objection to Dati Ahmed, raising the question about Section 134.2 of the uh, uh, Constitution, which deals with, you know, uh, FCT Abuja, whether or not for a person to be president of Nigeria must win 25% uh, in Abuja. Um, Ashwajibola Ahmed Tinubu got 18.8% from the Federal Capital Territory. But that's one of the major matters before the court, and it is for the court to determine that. So this is why it is important that all parties concerned should just calm down and allow the judicial process to take its course. However, Kiyamo has received a response in equal measure from the Labour Party Presidential Campaign Council and also from uh, Dr. Yusuf uh, Tanko and other spokespersons uh, of the, uh, uh, of the uh, party, including Dino Unifadi. And what they have told him clearly is that uh, he's joking and that nobody should take his joke uh, seriously. And that, uh, you know, Kiyamo is a known uh, rabu rouser who is just trying to impress uh, his masters. Well, the election is over, gentlemen. Can we tone down the rhetoric? And in any case, the DSS is not going to just act on the basis of a petition from a partisan party. This is not the first time Kiyamo will write a petition. Nothing came out of the last petition that he wrote to the DSS. Because the DSS as an institution will not want to be seen to be taking directives or dictates from, you know, a partisan political figure, uh, you know, trying to do his own job. And the election is over. Uh, uh, we recall that Festus Kiyamo is a minister of state for labor. That ministry, that assignment is still pending. Now that the election is over and it's petition time, it's, uh, you, know, uh, uh, you know, tribunal time, can uh, Minister Kiyamo please pay more attention to his primary assignment? And all persons who may be tempted to incite the public against the Nigerian state should refrain from doing so. That is very important.
I, I think it's Lagbaja, the famous uh, Afrobeat Nigerian musician. I think he had a song that says, Kulu, 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 Tempa, oh, Kulu, Tempa. That's what I'll say to all the political parties. At first, there's something that binds all of us in common, which is our roots. We are all Nigerians in the first place. The reason why we are having these arguments back and forth is because we share something in common. We are all Nigerians, and that supersedes anything and any other thing where we are from in the country. It's immaterial to the fact that we are all Nigerians. We'll have varying ideas, but we'll talk about our varying ideas with objectivity and the truth. It's as simple as that. So we want everybody to cool things down, because after all is said and done, after the case goes to court and the court makes a ruling, we'll still have to come together in this country. But that will be after justice has been done as regards the electoral process, which will be done in the courts. Mr. Kiambo that wrote a petition to DSS, I laugh a lot because Mr. Kiambo pretty much went out there to school the television presenter. And, and I think it's not fair the way politicians treat journalists. You talk down at them. It's not fair. You pretty much were there schooling the uh, uh, presenter. And the next thing, you went ahead to do all the things you complained against. Mr. Kiyamo is a son, senior advocate of Nigeria. But on this section 25, Dr. Abati, do you know, despite the fact that case is in court, he gave an illegal opinion on section 25 right there on TV on a case that is already in court. He gave a legal opinion on, uh, no, not section 25, this 25 percent in Abuja thing. 134. He gave a legal opinion. They are empirical facts. Fact check me. When he was asked on the issue, he gave a legal opinion, knowing fully well that the case is sub judice. Like, Lord my people, now the video now on a new watch for so on a see what happen for inside the video. All right, my people, I would like to end the video for you. Make gonna let me know. Waiting on a team for the comment section, and if you never subscribe, you cannot subscribe so that you don't go miss any latest. Just wait at the upload on a bye bye till I come on a winner's time. Bye guys, that's my next video. Bye guys.